There's a little tool that I made uh, years ago in 2009. It's called uh, Select My Parent. I have a blog post uh, about it. It's a little tool that allows you to launch a program here like Notepad, but then it will have as parent process the process with the PID that you specify here, uh, 864, which happens to be the ELSAS uh, process. And you can see Notepad, okay? Well, what I want to show now is that uh, I also implemented this. So this was a C program, and uh, now I also implemented this in uh, VBA, uh, in Excel here in my task manager uh, spreadsheet. So uh, in task manager here, I have a tab uh, create process. And with that, I can launch a program like calculator here, calc.exe. I can click create process and then calculator is launched. And if we go into process explorer from uh, sys internals, you can see calculator here with excel.exe as its parent. Okay, so let's close calculator. And now I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to select a parent. Task manager here. I have Explorer, which is bit 288. So 288, calc.exe, create process. Here we have calculator. And if we look into uh, Process Explorer, calculator, its parent now is uh, explorer.exe and no longer excel.exe. Now I'm not going to share uh, the VBA code, uh, which, which I done this, but if you want to test it, you can just uh, test it on your um, environment with my select my parent tool. It's a simple C program. So select my parent calc.exe 288. Let me close calculator here like this and then calculator is launched and if you go into process explorer you see that it's not command.exe, it's parent, but uh, it's uh, explorer.exe. Some interesting things about that. So select my parent has to open a handle to the parent process, uh, here explorer.exe, and that is something, for example, that you can uh, discover um, with the right uh, sysmon configuration, for example.